But what's up my fucker Fano? how's it going? Welcome to episode number 8 of Fishmas. Today we're going to be tying up my, in my opinion, the number one fly that, um, that to use in New Zealand, around New Zealand, anywhere in New Zealand. This fly should catch you fish no matter where you go. And um, so today we're tying, um, I'm not going to say it's my variant, but it's my very favourite variant of the pheasant tail. Um, tomorrow, which is Saturday, I'm going to be going out back country and um, so I won't be able to upload a fresh video um, Saturday, but I'm going to schedule a another fly, um, fly tying video which will be the heron copper and um, I'll just be using this pheasant tail and um, the heron copper that you guys will see tomorrow um, just using those two nymphs and a dry fly that will just be a store bought dry fly um, been using them tomorrow um, to catch fish so you guys can see how easy it is to catch fish in the beautiful back country so Anyway, enough blabbing, let's get on with it. So first, get a couple fibres of pheasant tail. And you just peel it off. Oh, by the way, I've already um, added uh, some lead to it, as you can see here. That's sticking up, it's not supposed to be, there you go. And I've also pre-wrapped the pheasant tail in thread. So anyway, you want to hold uh, you want to hold your pheasant tail fibers at the, the end and um, place it on the shank along the shank of the hook. You want to get your thread, you want to wrap it around, make sure it's nicely secured. See, for me, that's too long. You want it about half the length of your hook. So I'll pull it along, and that's a lot better. So, and then I'm just going to wrap. And wrap that in. I I like to fold this back and then re-wrap that in again just so it's nice and secure. Next we are going to get some uh, where are we? there you go that says copper but it's backwards on the camera. I'm gonna get some copper, clip that off and we're gonna add tie that in to where we just uh, last tied. Hopefully this isn't too fast for you guys. Slow it, slow this video down if I am. Sorry, but I'm. Um, my daughter's just got to sleep, and I really want to get this smashed out. So, yeah. But anyway, let's get let's carry on. Um, so you want to hold, get your pheasant tail fibers, and just slowly wrap your pheasant tail up the shank of the hook. I stop when I get to my lead wire and when I get here I hold it up high get your thread and bring it across and around and down and across and around and down just so it secures it and it should stay up standing like so that's hold on, I might need to just cover that up properly There we go. All right. Next, you want to get your copper, which we have at the back here. We just want to wrap that around, and that makes the ribbing of the nymph. Wrap that in front. Wrap that around. Okay. Tie that in by pulling it back like so. Any loose fibres, get rid of that. Okay, so actually I think I've gone too far with my pheasant tail up here, but that's okay. We can handle that. So now you just want to get your scissors, snip off the uh, excess, excess, whatever it is. Um, you want to snip off the rest of the copper. Now... I like to use here, 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 and I just pluck a few fibers off. Guys, 
the one tip I can give to you is less is better because you can always add but you can't take off so get a little bit and you just want to kind of just thread it onto the line um, just rolling it onto the line just with the just with a rolling motion of your your fingers and as you guys can see on there our fibers are on our thread and we just want to wrap that around nicely just to the the gold bead I'm gonna pull down I'll pull our pheasant tail fibers back over the um, the thorax that we just did with the hair and we want to wind tie that in wind get your scissors snip them off and pretty much your pheasant tail is done Look at that, it's not the flashes, I'm not the best fly tire, I'm not going to say I'm the best fly tire, but I can guarantee you tomorrow this bad boy is going to catch a fish. So we're just going to whip finish here, couple of wraps, bang bang bang, oops, couple of wraps, bang bang bang, pull that, dig dig, that seems tight, sweet as, boom. Bob's your uncle. Quick and easy, simple and effective. That's what I like to do. I don't want to spend hours at the vice. I just want to tie flies that catch fish and this nymph right here will guarantee me a fish. So thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, number eight of Fishmas. Um, tomorrow you'll be seeing the tutorial of me tying a herring copper, which I'm just about to do next. But I'm out there tomorrow and Sunday there will be me fishing um, in the back country using these, well, this fly and the heron copper fly I'm about to tie. So thank you all for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you smash it. It's been great. The support for Fishmas has been very, very good and I'm happy. And um, there seems to be a, a few more of you. So g'day to you fellas. But yeah, thank you all for watching and we'll see you later. Peace.